Seeds are a combination of numbers and letters that are used to generate every Minecraft world ever created. However, this process is not perfect, as it is completely uncontrollable and random. Sometimes the seed breaks. No one knows exactly how or why, but the results can be terrifying. So today, I'm testing Minecraft's scariest seeds, so you don't have to. Watch until the end, because you won't believe what I saw. Our first seed is 28984925. The first scene where Entity 303 was seen. We're going to turn off multiplayer so no one can join the world. There are no resource packs and no behavior packs. This is completely normal vanilla Minecraft. Now many call Entity 303 the new hero Brian and was first spotted on this seed on Minecraft Xbox Edition on December 10th, 2013. From the get-go, I'm not seeing anything strange or unusual that could suggest to me that Entity 303 was corrupting this world. Maybe there's something else hiding below the ocean surface? Let's give ourselves night vision and see whether we can see anything, guys. So we're gonna go at P, night vision, and let's have a look under the ocean. Wait, guys, are you seeing this? Look at that coral. Does that look familiar to you? It kind of looks like it's repeating itself. Look at this, guys. We've got this red and yellow coral structure. And then again here, and again here, and again, and again, and again, and again. What? This seed is constantly repeating. What in the... And it's only like this area here. But then the surface of the world is totally unaffected. Oh my goodness. Guys, look, the duplication continues to get bigger and bigger, consuming more and more of the world. But guys, this Entity 303 was actually first spotted by a player called Frankie. And when he saw this entity, he sent an email to Mojang. I'll read you out part of it. He goes, hi, my name is Frankie. I'm a huge fan of Minecraft. And I've been playing for about two years now. Every day after school, me and my friend John would always play on his private server. One day, we were all in a group Skype chat and we were working on a huge survival city and we were in the process of building for at least eight months. For some reasons, John's player just stood still. I assume it's just lag, but he's not even speaking on the Skype call. I check Skype and see if he's still online. No answer. He's not even talking. That's just part of the email there, guys. There's still more, but as you can see, the repetition seems to have stopped. No, it hasn't. Look at that, guys. The trees are still repeating here. It's weird. It's picking and choosing, whereas normally in these repetitive seeds, it repeats everywhere. Maybe we can test whether or not this is actually world generation or whether or not something might be glitching out the world by heading to the end, guys, and seeing whether there's still repetition occurring in the end. So let's go ahead and place down each of those, guys. We are heading to the end. Bam, boom, bada, bam, and through we go. Now, I'm going to continue the story here. Let me go ahead and clear our night vision so we can explore the end without any distractions. All right, so coming into the end dimension, guys, I'm not seeing any repetition here on the main end island. So let's go ahead and kill the ender dragon. As I'm doing this, guys, let's continue the story or the email that was written to Mojang. Frankie writes here, guys, suddenly my screen starts glitching. It's not normal for Minecraft to bug out like that. It looked like it was corrupted or something, and if that's not bad enough, the chat starts spamming object summoned successfully by player.number303. He looks at the Skype chat and realizes that someone has joined the call. Guys, this is getting stranger and stranger, but we haven't seen anything in the text chat so far, so I'm beginning to see that this seed is not infected by Entity 303. Now, as we head to the end city here, guys, let me continue the story. The chat says one more thing. Make a wish, and the player runs up to me and hits me. For some reason, it makes the oof noise that used to exist in beta and earlier. My computer shuts off. Wait, what? Guys, I was reading the story there, and I just noticed... What in the world is up with this end dimension? It's duplicating, just like the surface, guys. This is so strange, look at this. We have duplicate end islands all the way through, duplicate chorus food plants. We have ourselves an end city here with, oh my goodness, this is a ginormous end city, guys. I have to finish this story of Entity 303. Entity 303 was created by a Mojang employee, supposedly, who was fired by Notch, the original creator of Minecraft, back when the game was first starting. So apparently now Entity 303 wants revenge on Mojang and all the Minecraft players alike for forgetting him. Some even say that Entity 303, look, another end city, what even these are repeating? Some even say that Herobrine came to warn us about this entity, as signs have been seen in hacked world saying help in Swedish 
the language of Notch, the original creator of Minecraft. This is all really strange, guys. The seed is really messed up. But I reckon that there's one way for certain to see whether Entity 303 is in this world. Apparently, if he's in your world, Hero Brian will leave signs saying help in Swedish, which is, you know, Notch's original language. I don't know if we can somehow, you know, convince Hero Brian to leave a sign to prove to us that this world is infected by Entity 303. But we're going to leave down this sign here that just says, Hi, Entity 303. All right, we're just going to leave this here. And we're going to see whether or not that this changes to help in Swedish. I'm assuming if I stand here, guys, Herobrine's not going to show himself. Neither is Entity 303. So we're going to leave the world for the time being and come back later in the video. Watch until the end of the video to find out what happens. Was that not scary enough for you? I'm sure this will be. Our next seed is 666. We're gonna turn off multiplayer so no one else can be in the world with no resource packs and no behavior packs. For those of you who don't already know, 666 is called the number of the beast. The devil's number, the number of Satan. I suppose the first place to visit would be this village here to see if we notice anything out of the ordinary. Guys, as always, you see anything, you hear anything that I don't pick up on, please let me know down in the comments down below because I wanna know whether or not these things are real as well, guys. From, you know, just the looks of it, everything seems pretty normal. Villages seem intact. While we're looking around here, guys, I'm just going to continue talking about what people have reported on this seed. Basically, pretty much everyone has played on it for more than, you know, a few minutes, have experienced all types of weird glitches, but I'm not seeing any glitches. Like, maybe you have to play this seed for longer to experience these glitches. All right, we got a desert temple. You know, maybe there's something up with these. Desert temples have been known to have some very cursed things inside of them. I mean, Green Steve has supposedly been spotted in... Did you hear that? Wait, guys, did the sky just go dark? Okay, I'm just freaking out over nothing, guys. This happens normally. If it starts raining, the sky goes dark. It just started raining. What? Why am I freaking out? I'm letting everything I've read on the internet scare me, guys. Okay, this is... That's rubbish. All right, let's have a look. Nothing seems out of the ordinary here with this desert temple. Let's have a look down here. Yep, seems pretty standard. We got ourselves some chests. They're all nice and filled up. Feather falling. Ooh, we got some diamonds. I mean, that's some pretty good loot here. Whoa! Was there sand on top of that desert tip? Okay, I don't know. I must have broken some sand here, guys, and that fell down. Okay, I mean, that's pretty standard. Again, I'm not seeing anything that's weird here, guys. Okay, yes, it is raining. I'm not completely crazy, guys. The sky's only gone dark because it's raining. I'm pretty happy with this, guys. I mean... Okay, that lightning was awfully close. I mean, it is raining, and lightning does happen when it is raining. It happens during thunderstorms. That lightning was really close to me. I'm actually letting this get to me, guys. Oh my goodness. Lightning is a normal thing in Minecraft. I, I think I'm gonna say that even though people are experiencing weird things in this, I don't think we've experienced anything that's super strange. That sound was weird. Okay, I, why is the, what's with the creepy sounds, guys? I don't like them. Wait, what? Where are the chests? Whoa, what? Did you guys see it? Okay, I'm I'm losing it. Okay, the chest, maybe the game just like had an issue when it was rendering when we first loaded in the seed. My, I think my screen shook, but that's probably just lag. I know these are normal Minecraft things, but this is kind of scaring me, guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you think this is scary too, but we're getting out of here. This next seed only works on 1.12.2, an older version of Minecraft, which is the only version where the entity Giant Alex has been seen. The seed for this is this ginormous number. We've got no texture packs and no mods loaded into the game. And we're gonna see if we can find ourselves Giant Alex. So right off the bat again, we're spawning on another survival island, guys. Honestly, all of these ones surrounded by oceans are just destined to be creepy seeds. We've had three of them in total in today's video. You can see we've got an ocean monument right next to spawn, but again, it seems totally normal. But that's normally what we've thought of those that was a weird sound. I don't know what that is. But that's normally what we've thought of these seeds until we've looked below the ocean. So let's go ahead and give ourselves a night vision, guys, and see if we can spot anything strange or unusual below the water surface. Now, I'm not seeing anything weird, but then again, this version was before oceans were updated, so we didn't have shipwrecks, coral, or anything like that. So let's go ahead and find some nearby land. Now, if you didn't know, Giant Alex is a creature with a height of 12 blocks and has a destroyed version of the Alex skin. Its eyes are black voids with a wide open mouth, and there is dried and fresh blood all over Alex's body. Giant Alex only appears when there is a render distance of two. Wait, what? What? Seriously? Oh, okay. Well, we better come here to random distance, guys, and bring this all the way down to two. 
Oh my foot. This man is so much more terrifying. Guys, I can barely see anything. What? Look, in third person, I literally just have blue behind me because of how low the render distance is. This made this scene infinitely scarier. She is known to stalk and watch the player, but there's actually been no evidence to suggest she has ever attacked or harmed anyone. The other main thing that shows that giant Alex is in your world is apparently she leaves larger footprints in the ground. They usually look just like this, guys, and they're three by two, two deep. Just like that there, guys. Some people say it is actually just a part of 1.12.2 natural generation because it's an older version of Minecraft, but others say it shows that she is wandering around their world. Apparently, the most common place to find her here is in a swamp biome, which I'd say I'd love to find one, but it's kind of hard to find anything with this low of a render distance. I'm just... God, look at this! Do you see that when my world loads in, guys? This is really strange here. But, you know, maybe it's just because this is an older version. Whoa! Did you see that chunk glitching? That is really strange there, guys. All right, let's keep looking around, see if we see anything unusual. I don't know here, guys. Oh my goodness, look at this giant cave underneath here. Yo, it looks so scary with the tiny render distance, guys. When it gets to night, this is going to be even more terrifying on this world. You literally can't see anything. Clearly, heading forward here, guys, is just going to be more snow biome. So maybe we can find a swamp biome if we head back towards spawn and we see anything there, guys. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait, are you guys seeing that? Wait, what is this? These dirt blocks have been freshly destroyed. What? That is the exact shape of the footprints. One footprint here, two, and then three, and then nothing. Okay, guys, Giant Alex is known to stalk players. We've started heading forward. Why don't we head back in the direction we've came? She might have been following us this entire time. Oh, guys, I don't like this, but I want to get out of the snow biome ASAP. No, I mean, it's gone back to normal snow biome. That was just one thing. So considering it only happened once, I... I feel like it just could be a freak accident, right? While we did see what could have been footprints, it also could have been... Are these ones we saw before? No. I can't tell whether we've been going around in a circle, guys, because the render distance was too small, but... These are the ones from before? There's exactly four of them again. Is there fresh dirt in here? These ones too. I don't know, guys. I just... I can't... I No, we need to... Wait. If we bring the render distance up, then maybe she's in the distance. All the way to Ludacris. There we go. Bang. Straight up. Do we see her? Guys, spot her. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. No directions. What? So it is true. You can only spot her on render distance 2. Anything higher and... Her footprints were just here. Where did she go? I don't know what to believe anymore, guys. I'm going to leave this up to you. Now back to Entity 303. Alright, I've loaded Minecraft Bedrock Edition back up again. Alright guys, loading the world. Fingers crossed. I really I honestly don't want anything to happen. Wait, what does the sign say? What is that? Head jump? How? 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 Sign change! Wait! Is that help in Swedish? 